Hey, once again, it's Steve on the Guru Brew 2. I have a question here from a viewer. This one's from David R. And the title of the question is SolidWorks CAD Program Query. Hey, Steve, I watched your video where you designed a small arcade cabinet using SolidWorks. Can I import a digital photo into SolidWorks and use it to generate a drawing that I can ultimately create a G code for my CNC router? Thanks in advance. Well, David, not that I'm aware of, can you actually have SolidWorks whip up the drawings um, from a photograph? There may be a plugin available for it now. I have an older version of SolidWorks that I purchased. It's a 2008 version, and that didn't have it in there. But there's tools that can help you to redraw it. And I'll show you those in just a minute. Especially if it's structural, it's a good idea to go ahead and draw the part, redraw it anyway for squareness. Now, if you're doing it as an art project and it's going to be something that's going to be carved, I recommend using VCarve Pro, and I did a review on that a while back. I'll put the link up here and you can follow that. Highly recommended software for carving out and tracing photographs and that sort of thing. Let's go ahead and go to my SolidWorks now and I'll show you how I would trace a drawing. Okay, so I have my SolidWorks open here and I'm going to show you how I would trace something to build it. Underneath tools here, you can see that there's some sketch tools and right here there is sketch a picture and right now it's not available because I need to start sketching. There's also another type of drawing application in here. Let me show you that. That's under here. It's called Insert. And this only works with JPEGs. I don't usually use this. I use the Sketch tool. I'll show you how to do that. If I come up under Sketch and I hit the Sketch tool, I'll pick my plane I want to start on. It's my front plane. I'm going to go up underneath Tools and go to Sketch Tools. And now Sketch Pictures is available. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And from here, I can pick a JPEG or a BMP. You can see all the different ones. Let's say I was building a guitar. I wanted to cut out this uh, SG Gibson. I could go ahead and click that and hit Open. And it puts a bitmap of the JPEG here on my SolidWorks. And from here, what I like to do is click on Full Image. And then I dull it down and make it transparent because I just need it for reference. And then I hit OK. And from here, I usually get this tool. This is the spline tool. And I'll begin to sketch this out. Actually, let me go ahead and start first with a, a rectangle because I need it for my pocket here. So you can see I'm just roughly sketching this in. So I'll start with my rectangle. Now I'll grab my spline and I'll just start here with my spline and follow it around very loosely. Now you can see where I'm not spending a lot of time trying to make this pretty. And I'll and because you can adjust all that when you're done. I'm just trying to get the basic outline of it right now with my mouse. And if you're finding that your your spline is wanting to snap, you can hold down the control key and it will stop the snapping. So I'm going to stop there, hit my escape key. I'm going to go back up and get the uh, spline tool and continue on. You can see that's that snapping going on trying to get me to but if I just hold down that control key, it doesn't do it. And then I can connect right to there. Hit my escape. Now you can see this is kind of a rough drawing and this looks pretty rough. But after you're drawing it, you can just grab these little handles and push them around so it starts looking right. Okay, so I'm not going to do the whole thing here. I'm just trying to give you an idea of how you can use these spline tools to trace an object 
and you would go all the way around here and make it look pretty. And then when you're done, let's go ahead and end the sketch. You can see underneath sketch, I've still got my picture here. Now you can delete that or you can just hide it. And a lot of times I'll just use the suppress. Now it's gone. Okay, now that I have my drawing made up, I can come underneath here and there's that sketched picture. And I like to just suppress it. You can delete it if you want. And I'm left with my, my sketch. And you know, from here you can go in and you can extrude if you want to. And uh, we'll, we'll extrude it out here. So there, I just extruded that quick image that I drew, and it pretty much looks like an SG um, Les Paul, sort of. You can see I've got some work to do here, but uh, that's the quickest way I know to sketch it. Now, again, yeah, if, if you're, you're wanting, wanting to, to do this with art for an art project, check out B Carve Pro, and I'll leave a link up here for you to look at. So well, thanks for the question. question. Appreciate it. Bye for now. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the GuruBrewShow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.